Hey, what's up YouTube viewers and betanews.com readers? Brian Fajoli here. And I was just checking out the all new sixth generation iPod Touch, which is something I really love. But I had some trouble finding a case for it. I actually went to the Apple store, the local retail Apple store in the mall. They didn't have any iPod Touch cases at all. And when I went on online, I really had trouble finding um, an iPod Touch case as well. Uh, they don't really make any cases for the sixth generation. The fifth generation cases will fit fine. However, um, since the sixth generation does not have a little belt loop thing on the back, a lot of the cases have cutouts for the loop, even though it's not there. Not the worst thing in the world, um, but I definitely don't want to drop this or you know, break it, so I definitely want to invest in a case. So I went online on Amazon and I found this. This is the Griffin Survivor All-Terrain. I paid $15 for this case and its claim is that it's a military spec tested um, rugged case. Um, and it comes with a screen protector, which I don't think I'll use the screen protector because um, I, I generally just don't like them. But I'm going to go ahead and unbox this thing and we'll put it on the iPod Touch 6th generation, even though it's for the 5th generation, and see how it fits and how it works. So for this, I have my trusty knife with me, which is a little overkill for unboxing, but I had it handy. Okay. Let's see. Where is the tape? All right, there's a piece of tape here. It's going to cut through. We'll put the knife back in the sheath just because it's very sharp and I don't want to um, don't want to cut myself. Okay. Alright, so we'll just take a quick look at the box. So it says here it has sealed ports, um, impact absorbing silicone, uh, foam lined polycarbonate inner shell, a rotating, cam a rotating camera cover, oh, that's cool, anti-scratch screen shield. Cool, okay. Let's give it a go here. So it's inside this plasticky in the world. Oh, what companies are thinking when they box these things up? Oh, there it goes. Front comes out. Now the color, the color probably wouldn't have been my first choice. However, um, a lot of the other cases were like 20 or $25. This particular color was $15. And I thought it was kind of funky looking. I like the bright orange. Um, I think it'll stay, make it stand out so I can't lose the iPod touch. I probably won't use this belt clip. I don't think I plan on putting it on my belt. So, put that to the side. And let's see how this works. Wow. Let's see, did it come with any instructions? Um, no, I don't see any instructions. I have to figure this out myself. Let's see. How do we get this off? I really just don't want to break it, that's the thing. So let's see, how the heck? Griffin has done a really good job here of making it secure, but I can't figure out how to open this up. Does it snap off? Oh, here it comes. Okay. So this is, oh, so the screen protector is actually built in. I don't know if I could even remove it. That's a shame, okay. So that comes off. Next we have, how in the world, okay. So far I'm disappointed in this case just because I can't figure it all out. All right. Now I think, I don't think I can shove the iPod in as is. Pretty sure I need to remove the rubber. There we go. Okay. And this is kind of cool because we can see all the different. Okay. 
So let's see. The iPod Touch will go in like so. All right, that seems like a pretty good fit. All right. iPod, okay. And then I guess we're gonna shove it back in this rubber piece. So on there, good, okay. Oh, I don't love this at all. Uh, I'll just have to go. Am I putting it on? No, it's on the right way. Let's see. Or maybe, oh, you know what? I think maybe the screen protector has to go on first. I'm really bummed out about the screen protector. I had hoped it was optional, but it seems to be glued on here. Let's see. Nope. All right. See, there's, there's dust and dirt here that I really can see getting stuck between there. Let's see. I'd like to remove the screen protector. And if it can't be removed, I think I'm just going to end up returning it. There we go. Haha. <laughs> okay. That screen protector is now gone. Now I'm feeling because it's a little sticky and I don't want the stickiness part now to go on the iPod. So what I'm going to have to do hmm, is clean it I think with some rubbing alcohol. Let's see if I have an alcohol pad. I do have a alcohol prep pad. Okay. And I'm just going to go over like so. I just don't want that adhesive getting stuck to the iPod and making it all gross. Okay. going to dry that slightly. Not that it really should need it, but it can't hurt. Okay. All right, doesn't really feel sticky now. That's good. So let's go ahead and put it on. All right. Actually, let's see. No, you know what? That actually will go Silly me. Okay. So this will go on first. It looks like the screen texture actually goes on last, that last part. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So far, so good, actually. Nice. So that's the current state of the iPod Touch 6 Gen. Last step we're going to do is put this on. And again, I took off the screen protector. Okay, so let's 
take a look at this guy now. There you have it. And you know what? I actually kind of like it. Let's see. Is it on properly? This goes up a little bit here. It's extremely rugged now. I took, like I said, I took off the screen protector. Um, so there's no worries there um, about any touch sen sensitivity or, or dirt. Um, very, very cool. And this, I think, comes down. Yep, so this comes down to take pictures, so the lens is protected. Uh, the only thing that really isn't needed is, is this thing here. Oh no, that's for the headphones. Oh good, okay, yeah, so this is for the headphones. And there is no belt loop cut out, um, which is good. Very cool. There's the lightning port, protected. Everything is nice and protected. This is actually a really nice, really nice case. Let's see. Volume works fine. All right. Power button works fine. Home button works fine. Not the most attractive case. It's very, um, makes the iPod a touch six generation, obviously, much bigger. Um, but wow, what a great protection. Do you like, oh. Sorry. Do you like my new case? I really have no opinion. Siri. Is my iPod Touch beautiful and orange? Let's see. Here's what I found on the web for is my iPod Touch beautiful and orange. Hmm. Well, it is pretty beautiful. I like it. I really like it. It's very much protected. Very, very cool. And there you go, $15 on Amazon. Designed for the fifth generation iPod Touch, but totally works with the sixth generation. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.